my gorgeous Berkeley Scrimptious Gemini. Welcome to your Love Tarot reading. This is going to be your singles reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and we're going to be taking a look at what new fishies are swimming at you in the sea of love. Who's in, who's out, who's getting deleted from the database, and is it a himbo bimbo, anyone in between, or is it your new soulmate for life? So, ooh, cards are really mar. Mar. We'll see why. They're a little mar. Racy. All right, Gemini. Oh my gosh, I can't even get them to behave. All right, behave. Please show angels what's happening for Gemini. <laughs> also, Gemini, uh, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. If you are new and if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give me a kiss. Mm. Gemini, if you know this channel at all, you know that you are my lucky shiny star. You really are. You don't even know. You bring me so much luck. Gemini energy brings me so much luck. I love my Gemini energy. I'm a Scorpio, but in my lifestyle is Gemini. You know, there's a lot of Gemini in me, so... Welcome, Bibu. I'm so grateful that you choose to spend your time with me. And already I see some amazing, amazing changes coming through in your life. Amazing things happening in the future. And a lot of work, a lot of self-work that you've been doing already, Gemini. So let me just say, you know, congratulations on all the self-work that you're doing currently because I see it and I, the you know, the universe, the goddess, God, anyone in between, they really appreciate it. Your angels appreciate it. Your guides are saying you're doing the right thing. Thing. You're doing a good job, Gemini. So, Gemini, people, you got death here, okay? This is in your past. Uh, there was an ending here with someone, and it could have been quite unpleasant. It could have been a situation of uh, trying to save something that was unsavable. It was almost like trying to uh, get the dead to walk again kind of thing, but not in a kind of resurrection Jesus kind of way, more like in a Frankenstein kind of a way. But they, oh, don't shoot the messenger. But you know what I mean? It's like, how can we make this work? And maybe, you know, um, Baby, I'm so guilty of that. I'm Scorpio, you know, because like I can't let, look, let me just tell you, because I'm not calling you out. I'm just saying. I don't let things go, even if it's like basically Frank Frankenstein or Satan. Like if, if I was dating Satan, I'd be like, I should give Satan one more chance because I feel so much love and compassion for the world. And it always ends so badly, like no matter what Satan does. I'd be like, I'm not saying that my ex-boyfriend was Satan, but I mean, I'm not saying he wasn't, okay? Neither confirm nor deny, I'm just saying. So, you know, and like sometimes it's just, it's just easier to just recognize that it's okay. Like it's, it, you got to be cruel to be kind, but I can't do that. I can't fire people. I have a firing issue. So, um, I was just telling cancer about it, but so, and it's coming up in your energy. So I really empathize. Um, but maybe there was a lesson here about, you know, not allowing this Frankenstein's monster to just like, you know, uh, tell you what to do. We're trying to like keep that creature alive when it was maybe time to give, give it, you know, put it to rest because it was just like, you know, it was struggling. This relationship was struggling. You were so hoping that you could save it, but Bill, you were really hoping. And I think this person, um, wanted to save it too it's a weird energy it's almost like both people are trying to save it uh but i think you're there it, it, there's something about your person there was a darkness here that was irretrievable there was a darkness here you were calling uh you were calling upon them to try and you know do something and it's almost like they didn't know how to try not for want of loving you they could have done you a lot of boo-boos but you still couldn't you, you know you still couldn't quite let that energy go because you love this person and this person does love you too, but they are a little bit of a snake. You got the magician here to your left. This is interesting. This is going against you, Boo Boo. Um, you know what, uh, Gemini? <laughs> this is you, number one. Uh, number two, um, when the magician is going against you, it could be a couple of things. Uh, it could be that you're just uh, a little too... You. <sighs> this is going to sound so wrong coming from a Scorpio, but I, I'm just going to say it. Why so suspicious, Bibu? Don't be so sus suspicious. You know, be less suspicious. You're suspicious of people because someone did you with Bibu. Something ended very badly in your past. Okay, Scorpio energy too in the death card. Maybe, maybe it was a naughty Scorpio. Let me know in the comments if it was a Scorpio, and I'll, you know, I'll deal with them. Nobody hurts my Gemini. Nobody messes my Gemini. But you got, you got that magician here. So I think you're just suspicious of people because someone hurt you. Is that you know you were trying? You just wanted that patient to live, and it was just not possible. And this magician, this. Person hurt you they were really like 
very in their, like, uh, this past person, you know, they were super in their ego, could have been a little bit of a narcissistic energy, and now you're like, oh, no, you know, you see signs everywhere, signs that, you know, you could be dealing with someone not 100%, you know, kosher, not 100% halal, not 100% gluten-free, you know, like, it's all like, ah, but is there definitely no gluten in it, or do you just say there's, you know, you're like, mm, is it really, is it really? So be less suspicious. The other thing that might be happening right now is um, you've been manifesting a soulmate and um, maybe you've been doing that for a while. The cards, are, this is a very interesting message. The cards are saying, Gemini, you've already done the manifesting. Now it's time to let it go. This is a specific message for some people out there, maybe. You know, if you've been manifesting something a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, and you're wondering, why is my manifestation not working? Well, like, now it's time to just let it go and have faith. So it's all about having faith and having an open heart because, you know, it's that, you know, it's that... Um, ideology of suspicion here so you know if you're manifesting don't be so suspicious let it go now it's time to let it go now it's time to uh you know let god uh goddess you know the universe do its job their job and so be less suspicious you know in that sense uh be believing just believe have faith put your faith in the universe and uh if it's just about meeting new people be less suspicious have faith in humanity i can't believe i'm saying that because i'm like the four i'm like the fbi of the zodiac everyone is guilty until proven innocent under a duress and questioning so <laughs> when it comes to love so you know how it is um eight of swords here in uh, is is your current energy and this is the energy of self-development that i was talking about you know your guys are very proud of you i'm getting very very much getting this this is a beautiful you know what i smell here right now like i smell like a, a church like a catholic church but in a good way not in a kind of get the devil out of you way but like in a good way i can smell candles burning candles are burning and this is in honor of the souls that you've touched this is a weird, wow, what a beautiful, deep message. It's like, it's, it, it, the candles are just burning in a church. This is like, you know, a, a metaphor for something for you. Um, all the souls that you've touched, there's like a candle for every soul that you've touched in your life and also for all the souls that touched you in your life. Uh, this is about gratitude. This is about knowing that time is limited. Our time on earth is limited. And uh, th that time, we're here for yourself to, uh, I, no, that's the wrong thing to say. We're here, um, we all, we're all here for our own purpose and we have our own understanding what life is all about, but ultimately it's about knowing oneself and finding a connection with other people. So you're doing that work. The Eight of Swords is someone who is on a journey of self-discovery, of knowing themselves. There is one little bit, I feel, of evidence or one little bit of information that you need to solve that puzzle to some extent or to uh, deepen your understanding of who you are, what your soul mission is, and how you best, how you can best serve and connect to other people. And especially in love, I feel like, um, I feel like this card is saying to, again, don't be suspicious, open up yourself uh, uh, up to certain things, certain experiences, whatever it is that you're afraid of. There's a, there, uh, there's a fear of vulnerability here to some extent, Gemini. Uh, it is time to let all those fears go because you're, uh, to some extent, even though the work you're doing is amazing. I see manifesting. I, I do, you know, something died. It's okay. You, you're letting it go. I know you are, or you've let it go already. But there is also a tendency here <clears throat> to to be afraid of vulnerability and to be suspicious. And again, so this is all about taking, I'm not saying like give yourself over to a person you've never met before and like totally trust them and give your, them your bank account details. I'm just saying, you know, like, um, let it all hang out a little bit, Gemini. Don't be don't be so afraid. Don't be so uh, don't be so afraid of being vulnerable. This is about coming out of this prison of the mind a little bit. You know, um, maybe it's time. And it's a look. It was it was a coping mechanism. I feel from a breakup. So it's good that you did that. Now it's time to let it go. Now it's time to let your hair flow. Let it show. Let your body show. Oh my God, it's like a whole poem. Time to let it flow, boo boo. Go out there and flaunt it. You know, go out there and party, have fun. You you may be you know it may be that this prison is. Uh, currently not just your mind it's maybe the work you're doing or you're doing things finding things to do other than have fun go and have fun bibu because they see amazing things coming through you what's going for you is the ace of swords uh this is a whole new beginning this is fate this is this is fate giving you the key to a new beginning the key to a new life um this x from the past by the way you know whatever died here that you just were trying to resurrect it just 
kind of totally went away. Um, you know, this is someone who could still be like on your mind living like a ghost because that person is also thinking about you. There's something ghost, you know, there's like a haunting here. I think they're haunted by you and you're haunted by them, but it's time to just let it go completely because this is a whole new start. As painful as it is, you got to be cruel to be kind, you know, hire and fire, Gemini, hire and fire, right? You got to, you hired them, you got to fire them. So, um, with, with this uh, Ace of Swords, this is a whole new beginning. The angels are giving you a whole new beginning. The angels are paving the way for you to have a whole clean new slate in love. And guess what's coming in for you? The Empress. All right. The Empress, the lady in this deck. This is the Druid Craft deck. This is the lady, the Empress. This is abundance, plenty. This is creating a whole new life for yourself. Uh, if you want to get pregnant, pregnancy is on point here right now for everyone. You know, if, you, if you're looking to, if you're not looking to, be careful. Uh, if you don't, if you're not someone who carries babies, uh, you know, you might get someone pregnant. So be careful about that. Mm, but also, this is a time if that's what you want, it's going to happen, Bibel. Uh, there's going to be a divine counterpart coming through for you. Someone who will treat you like the lady, like the empress, you know? You will be crowned, you will be bejeweled, you will be given gifts by the peasants, you know? Like, they're going to work, this person is going to worship you, kiss your feet, kiss the ground that you walk upon because you deserve it, baby. This is a soulmate connection, two of cups at the bottom of the deck. A soulmate is coming who's going to understand your value. So remember, you know, the lady, uh, the empress, emperor, Lord, anyone in between, but the gender is arbitrary. But this is someone who's going to really understand the value of the love that you contribute, Gemini, in ways that past babies could not. So don't be suspicious when a new person come in, comes in. Open your heart because it's an amazing connection coming through. I feel like the person who's coming in for you is someone who's actually quite energetic, quite, um, quite uh, maybe even overwhelming a little bit intellectually. But you're gonna like that because you're you are the intellect, Bibel. So it's gonna be someone who's a prince of swords. You know, someone very quick on their feet, quick with their sword, with their tongue. You know, very intelligent. Could be an intellectual. Interesting. Cancer got an intellectual too. Maybe we'll be uh, meeting each other, baby. Mm, and it's going to be someone who's going to intrigue you, amuse you, someone who's going to be very like, not a pushover, very much in the attitude, but in a cute way. There might be a little bit of teasing or a little bit of a back and forth between the two of you, but it's going to be awesome. So if you're not on the lookout for boobies right now, put yourself on the lookout, put yourself out there because someone is coming through. Literally the angels with this ace of swords are clearing the path, clearing the way for something new. Bibi. So don't, you know, don't stay home. Also this eight, eight of swords could be someone who's like, um, why haven't I manifested my soulmate yet? Because you're at home all day, but bow, you're at home. That's, I get this question all the time, also from my actual, you know, people like in my actual life, my friends and my acquaintances. They're like, you did a reading for me and you said someone was coming. It was like, yeah, someone was coming. And where did you go out to? And they're like, I've been at home for 10 months. I'm like, well, I mean, I didn't say it was a burglar. So like, seriously, like, Put yourself out there, and it doesn't mean you have to be on the bumbles, but just, you know, put your energy out there. Open yourself up to people. When you go out, you know, keep your eyes open. You know, give yourself opportunities to meet people. Because, I I mean, you know, there, statistically, someone will get, probably you might meet someone if they break into your house, but uh, I, it, I don't think it's the best method for meeting people. Uh, so I'm just saying, boo -boo. put yourself out there. Bring the energy to you. You've done the manifesting. Now you have to do the legwork, baby. This is what I have for you, Gemini, but it's going to be amazing. It's a soulmate relation. It is a soulmate coming through. Uh, let me know in the comments below, my darling, if this is your story. Also, Gemini, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe, turn on that notification button, and of course, like the video, because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is down below. Also, Gemini, if you vibe with my channel, you're going to love my sister's channel. It's Gondora Official. It is linked in the description box below. She does a lot of Scorpio readings. So if you have any Scorpio placements in your chart, especially rising, moon, or in your Venus, or, you know, whatever, if it's prominent in your chart, I would recommend you watch some of her videos. Uh, she does daily videos like me, so she might be able to update you on your situation. Also, if this doesn't resonate, the uh, the reading on her channel might, if one of those placements are your, yours in Scorpio, boo -boo. Uh, I love you, my darling Gemini. Oh my gosh, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you till tomorrow. What am I going to do? Oh, boo -boo. <laughs> Stay moisturized. Stay sparkly. I hope you won't miss me too much. Uh, stay gorgeousness. Stay the bestestness, my Gemini's and I'll see you tomorrow. May the angels protect you.